We're going to, this is with a single spike charge, and we're going to count up, the final resting is around 170 something. So here we go, we're going to connect. I don't have a stopwatch here, so you guys have to time it with your watch. Like I said, the final resting voltage is going to be about 175. Now I'm going to discharge when we get the full RPM so that we can see it count again. We'll discharge the capacitor. And what's important about this is to show you by recovering, or actually, yeah, recovering multiple bursts for a single input burst, how much more back EMF energy is collected. We still haven't, we're still not there. We got out of 40 some volts to go. I could shorten this, but I, I just need to let you know we're not we're not doing anything funny here. So we're going to wake up. We're going to so wake up. Uh, we're going to redo this. We're going to re reshoot it when I discharge the pass because we're getting up to full RPM now. And in this mode, we're drawing uh, about 1.09 amps. About uh, not quite the 1.1 amps. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pop it. It probably won't get to, to that, that value. So let me pop this in and I'll get myself up. Okay, so here's the count up to with the wheel running at full RPM. Again, use your timing watch to do this. Still debugging the circuit. It's not perfect by any means. Um, it's breadboarded out. There's a lot of interference. A lot of spikes get into the uh, back end of the signal board. Here, it's just laid out as a breadboard. There's no shielding whatsoever. They were coming up to 150 here in a minute. So, still waiting. It's kind of interesting. You know how it starts up pretty pretty quick, and that's what just the you know, the initial warm-up of the, of the speed of the, uh, the motor. You can hear the motor running. Can't get it all in the picture. Okay, well, I've only got about four more volts to go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is turn the power off. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and shoot the shoot the power out of the capacitor. It's a double bank, so I have to make sure I get both of them done. Okay, I gotta make uh, some changes here in the circuitry. I don't have this thing set automatically for, for between single mode, burst, and mode. Okay, so here we're gonna go. I'm gonna connect the, I'm gonna connect the thing up. Whoops, sorry. Ah, uh, boy, look at how fast we're getting up here. This is with multi-burst. Multi spikes. One input, many, many back EMF spikes. So this will get up to uh, get up to uh, 175 eventually. Get some of that one little area there. Now I'm going to do just like we did. We're going to short it out again, and then use your stopwatch to see how long it takes to get up to the thing. And we're drawing, by the way, uh, 0.7, 760 mils right now. It'll eventually go down as low as 63 mils. 60, no, 630 mils, excuse me. Okay, got three volts to go. But marijuana got to 150 with a single burst. Come on. 
I said it would do 175. Don't make me a liar. Okay. Well, we're going to just sell it 173 there. Okay, I'm going to short it out. We're going to time out how fast it gets back to that. How about that? Talk about fast generation. So, this is just a prototype Super Starship coil using only half of the dry winding. So multiply what you see by 12. Minimum. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and do that spark again. That's kind of exciting then to see that that, that how much it whoops. You can see it just goes up really quick. There we go. I'm gonna get across both of them. So I got two of them in series. So that's it. Okay, that's that's it.